What's up guys, this is GTFan712 back with another installment of news, in which I recap the sneaker news that mattered to me this week and look forward to this weekend's releases. Kicking off this week, Y3's fall winter footwear continues to hit retailers, including the new Y3 Stan Smith Zip and the Y3 Yoji Boost, both of which are currently available under retail with free shipping, with links to purchase in the description. Nike had several releases this week beginning Monday, August 22nd with the Gold Medal Unity Pack including a KD9, Kyrie 2, and LeBron Soldier 10, followed on Thursday, August 25th with the release of the Hyper Cobalt Foam Posit Pro, two new multicolor Lunar Epic Flyknit Lows, and new suede versions of the Nike Court All Court 2 and Match Classic. Moving into this week's news, Adidas shared images of several college-exclusive Ultra Boost colorways designed exclusively for their partner schools including Arizona State, Indiana, Kansas, Louisville, Miami, Mississippi State, Nebraska, North Carolina State, Texas A&M, and UCLA. Although no public release information has been announced, the Texas A&M colorway did release direct from the school's online merchandise shop, so stay tuned for potential release updates. Sticking with the Ultra Boost, a leaked image of a new Ultra Boost variation hit the web this week, showing an elevated ankle collar and a new prime knit upper that molds the mid panel branding into the upper, similar to the Futurecraft Ultra Boosts. Additionally, the outsole seems to be slightly thicker, potentially making this a more winter appropriate Ultra Boost. No release information has been announced, but follow my Adidas exclusive Twitter account at Adidas Alerts for updates on this and all Adidas releases. Adidas has confirmed a bit of winterization coming to the NMD in the Winter Wool Pack. Featuring an NMD Runner and an NMD City Sock, both shoes feature a new wool-based prime knit on the upper in a simple dark heathered gray colorway. Additionally, Adidas is introducing the See You Later silhouette, which features a leather and prime knit upper. All three shoes are set to release in two weeks on Friday, September 9th. Nike brought one of its 2012 Olympic innovations into the future to look forward to the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. This friends and family flyknit racer features a hand-dyed indigo flyknit upper and is limited to just 100 pairs. Although it won't see a public release, it is nice to see Nike doing something to a silhouette that has remained the same for four years now. Moving into this release-filled weekend, the Collegiate Navy Ultra Boost releases today, Friday, August 26th, online on Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champ Sports, and eSpay. This color has yet to release on Adidas US, but check the links in the description to see if pairs are still available from today's release. The Adidas Samoa Pigskin Pack continues with two new colorways releasing this Saturday, August 27th. Available in tactile green and mystery red, these premium Samoas feature a full pigskin suede upper and midsole. After last week's global release of the Casina Superstars, the Adidas Consortium World Tour continues to Canada with a two-pack of collaborations with Livestock. The Livestock Pure Boost and Samba both released direct from Livestock this Saturday, August 27th, with a global release to follow next Saturday, September 3rd. And the last Adidas release of the week, and potentially the biggest or smallest, is the Yeezy Boost 350 Infant, releasing in Turtle Dove and Pirate Black this Saturday, August 27th. Retailing at $130, this miniaturized Yeezy Boost 350 was available through the Adidas Confirmed app in select cities, with additional retailers offering in-store and online releases. Several years after Boston menswear store Ball & Buck teamed up with New Balance to create two US-made 574 colorways, the Boston-based store and company have collaborated again, this time on the US-made 585 silhouette. Featuring an olive Nubuck upper with plaid and leather accents, the Sporting Gentleman 585 releases this Saturday, August 27th. This weekend's Nike releases include the long-awaited metallic gold Jordan 11 Low and the navy colorway of the quilted Jordan 1 AJKO, both of which release this Saturday, August 27th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, with links to purchase in the description. Moving into next week, Packer Shoes has teamed up with ASICS to create a full line of US Open-inspired footwear, including a collaborative Gel Light 3, Gel Sight, Lawn Ship, GSM, and Gel Response 6, alongside a selection of apparel. The collection releases online next Tuesday, August 30th. And that'll wrap up this installment of news. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this week's news and releases, and follow me on Twitter at GTFan712 for up-to-the-minute news and release updates throughout the week. Until next time, this has been GTFan712. Thanks for watching.